To find the value of k, there are some basic stuff you need to be familiar with. If I have m plus m, the result of this will just be 2m. How did I arrive to m? I observed that the coefficient of this m is 1. And these ones, they are invisible. You're not seeing them. <laughs> the value will write 1m because it looks so basic. So when you say a number or a variable, just know that there's an invisible one attached to it. All right? But 1 multiplied by a will still give you a. Similarly, m plus m, they are invisible one. That one will add up to give you two because the m's, they are common. Just pick one of them. It happens when you're having irrational stuff, maybe sort of kind of stuff, like say uh, root m uh, plus root m. Because we're having this root m common, you want to add up their coefficient, which is one. One plus one will give you two. Then pick one of these root m. So that's the system we're going to be applying on this particular problem. Let's do that right away. So the first thing we want to do is to sum up this root k plus root k, and that gives us 2 root k. And I've explained that right now. Root, root k, they are common, just pick 1. The coefficient, which is 1, 1, add up to give you 2, equals 6. The next thing, because you're looking for the value of k, you want to divide both sides by 2. And if you divide both sides by 2, 2 will eliminate this, leaving us with root k equal to 6 divided by 2, that would just be 3. Now, whenever you have the square root of a number, say a, and then you want to, let's say, this might be some number like 2, and then you want to eliminate the square root, you want to use square, squaring both sides of the equation, because square means with square root, cancel out. So in order for me to get this k, I will have to take the square of both sides of this equation. And then this will eliminate this, leaving us with k equal to 3 squared means 3 by 3. 3 multiplied by 3, and that will give us 9. How do we check for extranosity whether this problem is correct? You want to substitute the value of k wherever you see k. So we have the square root of, in place of k, I'll put 9, which is the value of k plus square root of 9. I want to see whether this will give us the right answer, which is 6. Square root of 3, square root of 9 is 3, plus square root of 9 is 3, and 3 plus 3 gives us 6. That means this answer it's correct. I hope you found this video helpful. Please make sure to like this video, share this video, follow me for more, and subscribe to my channel. Peace and love.